After building the project in the latest Android Studio Flamingo version, I received some build analyzer warnings. In this video, I am going to explain and resolve these build analyzer warnings in my Android Studio. So let's not delay and start the video. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. So these are the warnings related to Android resources. The first warning is non-transitive R classes are currently disabled. Enable these classes for faster incremental compilation. Let's learn more about this warning. This is the Android developer page. Use non-transitive R classes to have faster builds for apps with multiple modules. First of all, let me explain about R classes. R classes are nothing but resource references. For example, in our projects, we access resources in Java classes as r.layout, r.id, and uh, r.ra, etc. So, all these resource files are accessed using r.reference. And this r class is defined for each module. Currently, this r class is transitive. So, by declaring it non-transitive, your module's R class includes reference to only the resources declared in the module or library itself and none from the library's dependencies. Thereby, it reduces the size of the R class for your module and improves the build performance. Okay, starting with Android Studio Bumblebee, non-transitive R classes are on by default for new projects. For projects created with earlier versions like my project, you can update using refactor migrate to non-transitive R classes option. But in the Flamingo version, it's automatically giving this warning while making the build. So click on this migrate link. Okay, it is showing gradle.properties file. See, this is the property non-transitive R class which is false. So click on do refactor. Gradle builds are running. Okay, done. Now go to gradle.properties file and check for the property. See, this is true. Okay, now build the project. Rebuild the project once again. Okay, build is successful. Now run the project. See, everything is working fine. Okay, now let's go to the second warning. Go to build view, click on build analyzer tab. Okay, not able to see the um, warning. Let's close the project and reopen it again. See the build analyzer warning is shown again. This is the warning. Non-final resource IDs are currently disabled. Enable non-final resource IDs for faster incremental compilation. As I told earlier, the resource references are accessible using their IDs. Till now, those are final variables, but now Android Studio made them non-final. Because this project is old project, it is giving me a warning to enable the non-final resource IDs, but this property is true by default for new projects. So let's enable this in gradle.properties, change it to true and sync the project. Oh, because we made the resource IDs non-final, we received these errors in project files. These are non-final. We cannot access them as constants in switch statement. So the alternative is if else. So either change them manually or select switch and click on option plus enter in Mac. It gives replace switch with if. Click on this. They are automatically changed to if else statements. Okay, now build the project. Rebuild once again. And run the project. Now test the app for these statements. Yes, everything is working fine. Hope you understood and you could resolve these build analyzer warnings at your end. If my explanation is clear enough, please like the video, comment and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.